Okay, so if you're somebody with MTHFR looking for um, some information on what you should do uh, about your MTHFR, how you should treat it, or whether or not you should at all, um, this uh, video should give you a lot more information on uh, what to do in different situations. I made this video specifically for my course uh, that goes into uh, how to approach uh, optimizing your biochemistry when you have MTHFR and other genetic uh, variations like COMT and histamine issues. Um, but I wanted to share it with, uh, you know, sort of a wider uh, array of people uh, because it's not always that complicated to treat MTHFR or to, you know, optimize your biochemistry when you have it. Sometimes it can be very uh, straightforward. And so this illustrates that, but it also gives sort of a more broad overview of what you would do in different situations uh, when you have this. Um, but, uh, but it does exclude some information too, uh, like for people with more um, uh, issues uh, like anxiety and and more complex health issues. But when you're, you know, health when you're pretty healthy um, and you have this, uh, this video will give you a nice illustration of of what you can do in different situations. Not just a little piece of it. It's kind of a uh, a good overview, but uh, but it doesn't account for everything. So make sure you you know uh, you know look at other resources and uh, you know get labs done and things like that if this is something uh, that you're going to dive into on your own. And in the description there'll be a, a link to the course uh, if you want to get more information. Like I said it has like uh, quizzes and things like that in it to help guide you in different directions of what you should do in uh, certain scenarios uh, as well as like labs that you should be doing and things like that. Um, if uh, you just want a uh, like a information but not as much detail uh, there's also you can check out the book as well uh, it's on amazon I'll also link to that in the description we're all about helping you gain a deeper understanding of your health and what's going on with your body hopefully this video gets you a little bit closer towards that aim also wanted to point out that sometimes when I'm producing this content, uh, I get a statistic wrong or the name of something wrong, and almost always there's a corresponding blog article on our website, SW Integrated Medicine, forward slash blog. You can find it there. Uh, those oftentimes go into a little bit more detail than the um, than the videos do as well. So please uh, check that out if you're interested. And um, it does take you know considerable effort to produce this content. So if you're liking the information, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you do have questions about any of the content, please ask it in the comment section uh, here or on the blog. Uh, that's why I'm producing the information for you to gain that deeper understanding. So ask the questions if you have them. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Let's get into it. So here is your key. Um, so positive there obviously means uh, positive results. So as I'm going through the algorithm, you're going to see signs like this. Uh, and you'll see what that means here shortly. And then uh, also put these in uh, order of increasing uh, stimulation. So number five would be the most stimulating. Now some of these are a little bit arbitrary, but certainly these two are the least stimulating. Actually, you can probably even you know, th this would be more stimulating. You know, it's a toss up between those two and then toss up between those two. But generally speaking, uh, that's kind of how I would do that. So, <clears throat> this algorithm is for M people with MTHFR, uh, homozygous for C677T, or compound hetero C677T12. 98C. So that means you have uh, two copies of this one, or you have one copy of this, one copy of that. Um, so that's specifically what this algorithm is for. Now there's certainly uh, other combinations that you can have, but these are the most, uh, the, the two, two kind of combinations that are going to affect the uh, enzyme the most. Um, and, um, you know, there, there are other point mutations that one can have. They don't seem to affect it as much as far as the research goes at this point. And then in addition, you know, you're you don't just do this just because, but um, just because you have it, but when there's symptoms. So the symptoms that we would be looking for here is fatigue, 
and, uh, and then you have no anxiety. So if you have anxiety, uh, then basically this algorithm probably will not work for you. But if you have both, you know, it's going to be uh, difficult to decide, um, but uh, you may need to get more guidance, uh, you know, on this before uh, kind of diving in. But that's sort of the uh, prerequisites. And then actually uh, a couple more prerequisites. So you should have no digestive symptoms plus no known inflammation. Uh, meaning normal HSCRP, less than one HSCRP. Now that, you know, all this stuff may rule out a lot of people, but uh, generally, you know, you want to be safe about this. And, and if you don't know about this, if you don't know about this, then you should get those things to get those things tested, uh, work with a doctor that can kind of guide you through it. This is a tool um, that you can use in conjunction with uh, your healthcare provider. Um, if you really feel you know good for the most part and you know you know you don't have this, then you know by all means uh, it's, it's going to be pretty safe. Um, so um, so then uh, we're just going to you know jump into it here. So then if the, all those prerequisites are met, then you're going to start. Uh, you're going to add uh, one to two grams methylfolate. And we'll say times two weeks. Forgive uh, my handwriting here that says folate. Um, and then uh, see how's that going to go. So uh, you feel great? Okay, then just continue. Uh, and you'll continue that for, mm, you know, we'll say three to four months. And then you should have some labs checked. Uh, and of course, there'll, there'll be uh, specific references to which labs you should be uh, considering getting uh, to make sure things are in balance. Um, but uh, in this case, there's no change, which we're going to come back to that one. And then in this case, uh, there's some sort of negative effect. So you may have more fatigue. You may have uh, some sort of side effect. Um, so in that case, you may want to uh, look at extending that to four weeks or so. Um, or sorry, uh, in this case, you may want to consider extending that to, to four weeks. Uh, but in this case, you're going to make sure all these sort of prerequisites were met. Um, so you want to make sure that, you know, you don't have any inflammation, you don't have any digestive issues, um, and that you don't have any, uh, uh, you know, any less uh, severe. So if you just had like one copy of this one, for instance, this may be too much for you. Huh? So you want to look at all that. Um, and maybe you could just, you know, do a lower dose. So you want to kind of gradually increase the dose on this. So don't just sort of jump to two grams, but start with uh, even 400, uh, 400 uh, micrograms may, may be the best place to start and then gradually titrate up to the uh, two grams. Uh, unless you start getting this, then you need to kind of uh, look at the bigger picture. Um, there's certainly, you know, there's this whole category of other things that could be happening and the side effects that you're getting from it and the, you know, more fatigue will sort of guide you. Um, uh, and it's not, and so there's other SNPs, but there's also like other health issues. And the reason for this and this is because a lot of times there, you know, those will tell you about that. Um, but anyway, so, uh, assuming you don't have any of that, we're just going to extend this a little bit and we're going to say increase, uh, methylfolate two to four grams, and this is per day, um, per day. Um, plus, you know, in this case, you need to add uh, methyl B12 uh, maybe every other day. Uh, you could do it every every day too. It depends, you know, what the SNP, other SNPs there are. And then uh, B-complex, make sure it doesn't have any folic acid in it, but B-complex uh, um, one to three times per week. And then um, um, you would do this for four weeks or so. Um, so in the case that uh, you got a positive result here, great. Uh, you can continue this for uh, another, you know, three to four months. Uh, maybe three months would be good. And then lab slash some sort of eval um, with your uh, healthcare provider. Um, and then, of course, this one's going to be no change again. And then this one's going to be some sort of negative side effect uh, or increased fatigue. Um, so if you got no change here but got, uh, you know, side effects here, you may want to go back up to this uh, dose and split the difference. Um, but, uh, you know, the side effects here are going to determine what the next steps are. Um, 
you know, so if you got more fatigue, that's sort of telling you something. If you got body aches, that's sort of, you know, hinting at something. If you got headaches, that's hinting at something too. So I'm not going to get into that here. I'm trying to simplify the algorithm, but um, all that info will be um, will be in the course. But uh, it sort of gives you a general idea of, you know, the flow of how you should be thinking about things, the, the weeks, the duration of things, um, et cetera. So again, uh, this is for the no change category. Uh, so then you can increase uh, your methylfolate further, uh, we'll say four to eight grams, um, and plus B12 plus uh, B complex, um, and uh, and then uh, you, you may want to be doing these more often. Uh, you know, this might be uh, every other day. Now at this point, it, it really depends on your other SNPs and things like that. But uh, generally speaking, this you know gives you an idea. Um, and then you're also going to add methyl donors. Um, so you may not want to do everything at once. It should be a gradual increase over the course of, uh, you know, th this one would be times eight weeks, um, ramping up to that. But other methyl donors might be uh, TMG or crealkaline. 